That's great. Are we rolling already? Yep. <laughs> I like how you're saying yes, but you don't. I, I, <laughs> no, I do. I went over and had it start. Yes, we are. <laughs> I do know. He, he adds like don't. Know it all. <laughs> Bob's the know it all who knows nothing. Volume. It's like a bike. Can you move over, you tiny people? It's a it's a bike path slash walk. Can you path. move over? Not anymore. Should have like had me and him sitting on just this couch, and you two should have been <laughs> on that. <laughs> Wait, how close do I gotta hold this? This is like in my my taint. But the, you yo, are so big. How funny that you're like, Sup, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the. What's up, yo? <laughs> 25 to life. You re, take I do boo do da boo da boo. Can okay. I hold it like this? Do you know 25 to life? I, of course I know 25 to life. No, I was talking to him. Oh. So, oh. Mike. There we go. Are we, go, are we going? On? It's already <laughs> rolling. Yeah. We're no, we're going. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was so rude. I was looking at my phone. Oh, no, it's okay. No. It. Up. This is a this up. is part of the uh, behind the scenes. Yeah, this is the extra. type that into your uh, what? What? Never mind. To this guy. <laughs> type that oh, this, this is oh the, this yeah. Is the database. This is the hentai machine. <laughs> it's the database that runs the whole show. The bob it is. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. It keeps everything. Yeah, it's, I oh, I strictly yeah, only yeah. look at hentai on that. You, I I don't even have the mouse died, so we can't really even use. That. <laughs> so, right now it's just it's a sip. You came prepared, yeah. didn't you? I did. We this, don't need two microphones no, on one mic. He did. He did. <laughs> <laughs> you lean forward. I should. I should. I should, I should. <laughs> this podcast is chaos, by the way. That's FYI. great. It's just oh. really loud. Do you want oh, to readjust volume? this microphone stuff, by the way? Why should I not? Oh yeah. How are you? No, whatever he knows you want. better than we yeah. do. Yeah. I just want to make sure you're comfortable. He's a professional I mean, podcast. This, this is fine with me. Exactly. Does it have to be up more? Hey, why are you like, guys I, fucking up our guest right now? All right, you can do that. Most comfortable for you. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Is that good though? That's perfect. So the podcast has already started. That's what we didn't tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, you, <laughs> the arm, like, <laughs> you got that part, right? <laughs> so, but the real question is, can you do the fucking intro? You're sitting in the intro spot. You're the host. Do the intro. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> I'm here with my boys. We're about to talk to you. <laughs> that's pretty good. That was better than my, that's better than Bob. I didn't, and he's on the podcast, and Mike doesn't even know anything about the podcast. <laughs> I did to three intros you. last episode, and I did them all way worse than that. So the podcast is called the Volume Podcast. Volume the podcast. podcast. You are our first guest. Oh, whoa, oh my! First God. guest of all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah your very first you, guest. You've done, you've done episodes without we, any. We've guests. done a bunch of episodes. Yeah, yeah we're gonna do it, most yeah. of them. Yeah. yeah. We've decided to call it vo Volume after a few episodes because we're so loud. That we figured, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're loud anyway. I'm kind of like more. Yeah, you're not that loud. Oh, he gets <laughs> loud. Oh, no, he starts. He, he'll, he'll I can't go. be like, if it's when an aggravation. When you start me, I get arguing, loud. they'll start arguing. And, they, and I just sit and go, no, he doesn't. He goes, <laughs> dang, dang, dang. And he starts yelling at us. <laughs> I should tell the audience that Mike Mitchell here is Mike from Mike the Mitchell. world famous podcast, The World Do Boys. Is. The Doughboys Do podcast, Boys. Gr very great podcast, and also the Birthday Boys, a very successful, funny sketch oh, comedy nice. group. Well, it was funny when you said uh, this podcast is chaos. Mm -hmm. I mean, so much of what I remember from Nathan being, it was very funny, but it was chaotic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mike, I know Mike from the UCB Upright Citizens Brigade performing uh, there. Yeah. Sketches and characters and stuff. So he saw a lot of the insanity that I would do. And I saw the insanity that you guys would do as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. No, we did. We so did some not. weird. We did. But, but uh, Nate, I mean, Nathan was always hilarious. And then also like. I would look out and he would fall over the wall. I mean, you were so yeah. much more athletic than yeah. so many UCB people, as difficult. well as being yeah. very funny. Yeah. I just like he's still that. He's just old now. <laughs> yeah, I haven't slowed down yet. You I should, know, I should have slowed down. He jumped up the 15 foot wall and shattered his heel. Oh yeah, then I did that's that. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because of the UCB for the the talk show, your your talk show. That's this is right. When I fell from the ceiling, yeah, that got in my head. I did it at a convention center in Texas. I was like, well, I fell off from the UCB and I was fine. So I, I made the mistake of jumping off a 14 foot ledge onto. <laughs> concrete in a, like a floor like this with just a thin rug at a hotel convention room yeah I shattered my heel instantly but and like, that really that messed you up for a bit it, it did. still yeah, messed yeah, up yeah, yeah. Yeah. that was 10 years ago now and i've like, seen you do crazy stuff since then i have yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't stop him from doing crazy stuff it's just when he and you know runs now the doctor puts... told me she's like i shouldn't tell you this but technically your heel is stronger now because of the cement because in the it's place. just it's artificial. Artificial. Back to that. Yeah. stronger there's no way but, it feels stronger let's my, get back to the convention center yeah yeah one more time Seminar? Yeah, Dude, get, yeah see if you can make it in that fall. Yeah. So, 
See if you yeah. can land that fall this time without an injury. <laughs> well, I'm, they said I was lucky I didn't oh, break my oh. spine and the other mm-hmm. heel. Because often you break both heels from that height. Oh, jeez. And you compress your Wait, spine. Often you break both heels from that height. Because when it's that high. It's a human fact. They, they said, on one the foot? doctor said, when you drop from a certain height, chances are you're going to shatter both your heels because it's so high. It just breaks everything. And your com- spine compresses and it pops out some of the They didn't know you were a stunt butt. actor, though. So uh, they said I was lucky I only broke one <laughs> heel. Well, Bob and I, I was looking at Thrasher magazine yesterday, this pizza place, and this dude, like, dropped in off the roof of a house. Oh, he shit. did, like, a... He, he, he fell. It was he about... Spilled, and he landed on his feet. shoulder. And he bruised his heel. That's what he said. Yeah. In the article, he's like, yeah, I bruised and my heel. He, You're he like, wait. Broke. He broke. He hurt his wrist. He bruised his heel. Nothing from was that. He wearing picture. Osiris shoes because it's only thick enough shoe to stop. Nothing a heel from that picture shows that he. You guys remember Osiris? <laughs> like a coffee on shoe, Chad Muska. Just lick your finger. So funny. <laughs> oh no! Lick your finger. You, Where? Do, you have a spot of coffee on your nose. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, it's the cappuccino it's thing. Dude, right? I just got it. I was in the in the the green. Make sure room you can hear. You can hear. I was he eat, heard well. You can always Bob. hear Bob. I was in the green room for two seconds. I spilt coffee. I got it on my nose and I got it on the freaking table. Also, it was one shot of espresso. Also, <laughs> that picture they have like a, t- a ch- 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 of the kid falling and like he's just free falling. I'm like, how did this kid not like bust his skull? You're supposed to roll, right? I mean, I yeah, can't yeah, do yeah. it. You're supposed to like hit and roll. That's him. He didn't. Yeah, roll. It, you know, you just roll. Yeah. Well, I gotta say this: when we did, when you fell from the UCB theater ceiling, we were doing. We were doing this talk show called What's Going On where I didn't know what was going to happen. And there was a wheel of bits. So yeah. you spun the wheel, and there was one called Skydiving. Uh, the wheel is still intact. Someone oh, had, is it? I think Susser has it, Evan Susser. Yeah. But the one was Skydiving. We never fell on it. So Nathan was just uh, in the, uh, I, was I was, in the I was ceiling in here, and for so waiting. long. I got into the rafters of the UCB before the audience even came in. So and the funny. problem with the whole bit for me was I, I my legs start falling asleep because I had was like on literally on wood beam rafters, like yeah. bouncing and holding. And I'd start cramping up. So I had to like shift my weight as and not let the audience hear or see me. And I kept knocking clumps of dust down. I was like, I catch them. <laughs> oh. so I, I was like, oh my gosh, this is stressing me out. I mean, no one yeah. knew you were I did not know no. you were up there. Oh, it was even, I had no up. idea. Oh, I mean I didn't just, know anything about that was gonna happen. And you were banking on the chance it would just land yeah. on that one random yeah. thing of the yeah. wheel? Uh-huh. And, but then you know, what, but that no, it never came. But then he fell. Like, was it like it was like forty five minutes to an hour? Into it was the show. like well, and you had already been in there, up there. I think there was a plan. I can't remember if, if Justin or one of the writers was like, okay, so if it doesn't happen, just fall it at whatever point. I don't yeah. remember, but I remember it falling, <laughs> and I dropped in front of you and just shocked you. You're like, what the heck? <laughs> right in front of you, and then I had like a line. I was like, oh. I like landed here on accident or something, and then I just walked away. Was it an improv thing? And one thing I was nervous about was because yeah. my legs were going. Yeah, no, it was. No, it was. Like it was a, a weird. It was great. It was it a lot was, of fun. He was a talk show host, and they had written bits like a talk show would have. Yeah. yeah. And he just didn't know what any of them were. He didn't know who the guest was going to be, and then he has to like ask questions and figure something out. Like, was Will Ferrell the guest or something? When we did that, that the when we did the pilot, yeah. that, so we shot a pilot of it at, at, at uh, the in that Glendale, Glendale studio. the studios yeah. in Glendale. Oh yeah. And you were and you were there as well. You were very funny as well. Yeah. Guy said something. I don't remember what. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. I still think that was a really great idea for a show. That, That's that, right. Yeah, you were saying like show. better ideas than the show, right? Was it oh. like you were pitching other ideas? Wait, what? Were you like pitching other ideas as the audience member or something? Oh, is that what I was doing? Oh no, well, I, I don't know. What, what are you saying? Oh, I'm saying the show itself. Oh, is this good idea for a TV show? Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. I think okay. it should be. That's also show. funny. Someone in the audience pitching how to improve. Yeah, about this, yeah. about this <laughs> one, doing right there. <laughs> I got an idea for you. It's like a Massachusetts guy. Yeah, that's, that's like comedy now. Like everybody thinks they're funnier in the audience. Yeah. Hey, you shut the hell well, up. Well, that is an issue. Yeah, yeah. they probably always oh, been yeah. there. That's TikTok heckler's made heckler so bad, I feel. Do, do you do stand up ever? No, I don't do it ever. Hanford is uh, Mike Hanford. You remember yeah, yeah, Hanford? He does, he's in New York he's, now, right? He's in New York. He does stand Boom. up more, and he and he's right. no, I agree. That's just in New York. No, Buddha, Buddha, New York. Yeah. I, he's, what hat are you wearing? Fuck P- Patriots. Pat's kid. You were in. Uh, I'm Celtics. Celtics hat. Yeah. That's the I need to have Bruins, and then is there another sport? No. Revolution. What's that? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Is that the what about oh, the Bow Sox, kid? Oh, Red Sox. I can't uh, believe I said Revolution before Red Sox. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a cardinal <laughs> sin. Oh yeah, Red Sox. No, oh, you Red did. Sox. Red well, there, there oh, was a Red Sox, Sox hat. In the room. That's but that, you said yeah. something. You, you said there it is. Said football. What is this? Hockey. Well, you guys, you guys, hockey. Yeah, hockey. Yeah. You guys can't even name five. Do you watch hockey? Do you watch? Okay, here's a good question for Mike. Can you name five football players? 
five football players in the NFL or on the pay- Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> prove, prove it. Prove it. Of I'll name all quarterbacks. Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes. Uh, are you making those? Uh, how do we know he's Drew Bledsoe. Bledsoe. Those I mean, are all. Okay, now, Drew Bledsoe. Those are all. Drew Bledsoe. Two more that were Because I, I, I said Drew Bledsoe. You can't, and name, said, you can't name ones that they said. Tom Brady. Yeah. Two, give us two more. You what? can't. non paid So it can be unused ones that we haven't said. Wait, what are you? What, I'm sorry. Other football we, players outside of just Tom keep Brady going. We gotta explain the bit to him. Players. I was gonna tell him after. Here's the bit. I asked them if they could name five football players. It took. They couldn't do it. I'm on three right That's now. That's still every week. He's like, oh, I thought of one. I bet you guys ago. can name. I bet you can name five football. No, no, I, no they did this already. I struggled they couldn't through do it. it. I finally got it. It was like Drew. I said Drew Bledsoe. Teddy Bruce. Tom, like just think of oh, all the Patriots I, guys. He thought of OJ, and I was like, oh yeah, OJ. Oh, OJ is that counts. Yeah, they said John Madden. Because <laughs> I, I knew the video game, I knew him from the video games. Uh, 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 Siri just started naming football players. <laughs> yeah. I was oh, cheating. I was listening yeah, to her. Yeah, yeah. So he can do it. No can you problem. name two more random football players? <sighs> two more random football Any players football player ever? No. I said. No. I said. What's your name? No. Oh, that was not easy. He can it's do not it. easy. No. I, no. I'm. am with them. I'm done. See. Yeah. 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 Hard. I thought of what's your name's boyfriend. Oh uh, my Taylor God. Swift's boyfriend, but I couldn't remember his name. I knew. Yeah. Travis they go Swift. Taylor Swift's boy. Like. The, the, I didn't, didn't know, know it was Taylor Swift's boyfriend. Okay. Now that. Wait, Patrick. Pat, well, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean. Oh, you said him. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Travis Kelsey. Travis Jesus. Kelsey. Yeah. But uh. And then he has a brother who plays I didn't say Travis Kelsey. Doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And his name is uh. It's also also Kelsey. Also Kelsey. They do that Jason, podcast. Jason Kelsey. Okay, so you can name five football players. Yes. Well, he just did. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Do you like football? I do. Yeah. I mean, I, I can name five football players. It is funny though. There is a Jeopardy side of this where you're like, name five football players, and I was like, uh. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's like, well, it's just as scary. I don't know. Well, like like being quick. asked any question is scary. That's what yeah, every, every, know, time, what every time they try to ask me a question, my brain freezes up. And like, name five authors. You're like, I know tons of authors, but I was like, oh, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't. Uh, uh, I couldn't you think. Wanna, because the pressure. Another, should we do another one with him? Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. I got it. Let me let me handle this. Oh, jeez. Do, do you know the Celtics okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, name five basketball players. Ten. Nine. Jesus. LeBron eight, James. Seven. Jason Tatum. Six. Uh, uh, Jalen oh, Brown. Oh, don't do four, the countdown. I'm going to lose. Three. Got three. <laughs> three. Got three. You're stopping for Bob said the other day. that's so it scary. It makes it so hard. It makes it it's so Bob, hard. Bob said the other day, if you have a timer, you freak out. And you, I think you wanted to prove that point. Okay, now. <laughs> Yuri Welsh. I'll do more. <laughs> deep you, cut. You, you did three. <laughs> do two more. And you're Steve good. Brown. Who else do you want me to name? I'm going to name Celtics. One more. Uh, I don't one more anybody. Celtic. Larry Bird. The, I got that one. Robert, Robert Parrish. Okay. There, oh, that's I've heard of that guy. All time yeah. rebound. Who I used to like? Spud All time rebound leader. Spud Webb is a great one. I like his name and I had a basketball card for him. I didn't know anything about him. You would have liked D Brown when he when he was a Celtic. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. D Brown. He, that, he, that's, Danny Brown. That's exactly. Danny Brown. No, you, you know who is I think is fascinating. He, d- he he was a little guy who dunked, by the way, and he d- oh, he, did, that's he cool. did a blind dunk. Yeah, this this uh, is might be yeah. another guy similar. Um, who was the guy? Uh, this might be. A good oh, I got it, I got it. I think his name is Alvin Ivarez. Right? I- Iverson. <laughs> Iverson. But what, what was it? What is it? I- Alan Iverson. Alan I- Iverson. I knew, oh. I knew it was something like that. I was, <laughs> Alan Iver Ivarez is the guy who you work in the office with. <laughs> Oh, Who yeah, has, like, yeah. people make jokes name? about his name. No, 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 it's not really like, a guy. Oh, it's almost the best. Well, because I watched a documentary on that guy. Alan Iverson's off. And he was, I was, like, fascinated by him and his yeah. life and how good he was. And I feel like he should get more attention for how good uh, he I don't watch basketball. Pl- he gets plenty of attention. Does Vince he? Wilfork, Patrick Chung. I mean, should I start? These are, Vince, what are these guys? Oh, There's more basketball player. players? Are these basketball players? No, I'm, I'm, I'm naming football players oh. now. Oh. I'm going back. Yo, that's a line. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm talking, I'm going back to I'm going back to football. I'm still at three from Matt Light. Well, okay, well, let's hear it. Well, what you got one? I said OJ, OJ. Said He said Drew Bussell. They took that away. Remember last week, last week you said Joe Montana, but that was already said. Oh, Bo Jackson. Bo knows, right? Yeah, Bo, Bo does. Oh, he know. did baseball too. He, 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 play, he played cartoon. football. He played football. And that, that would work. That would work for two. I don't you know. remember that cartoon. Did you ever watch? Well, cartoon? I don't remember what they even were. Anymore. I have a question. All, Since Saturday Mike morning All Stars uh, uh, with, uh, with the hockey that, guy Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, yeah. Larry Burr was in it, right? <laughs> the, the most legendary hockey player of all that time. That cartoon you saw that? I saw it. Yeah, I used yeah, to watch yeah. that, I and I didn't watch sports. But <laughs> we never watched. We met brothers, and I never watched sports. My parents didn't like care about sports. So from New England, him in high school, and everyone was like, "Oh, Patriots." I was a little bit anti-sports because I got beat up by the football team, so it kind sure. of like pushed me that way. But now, 
as I'm a 43 year old man, oh. I watched my very first football game the other day. It was the Super Bowl, and I had a pretty good time. It's <laughs> it's the playoffs, especially, are a lot of fun. I, and that was an exciting. It Super went Bowl back game. and forth a bunch, and I was like, I asked so, so many questions. It was making Bob mad, dude. I had but, to like, tell him to shut it's up. It's really confusing, though. It's really. I it's, didn't. I didn't realize you had four attempts to go one line, ten yards, <laughs> whatever it is, <laughs> double lines, and then you one can line. do. I thought then that it would switch to their team after. Yeah. It does do that. No, that you get four times of doing it four times. No, you get f- no you don't. 16. Oh, yards. you get four chances oh, you to get 10 yards. Oh, you could move 10 yards and then you go to the other team like basketball? No, if you get or the 10 like, yards, you get, the get another 10 yards, four you get tries. another first down. That's why that's why I'm at, so you could technically keep going if you First guess. and 10 you do you do it again. That's a good way to And I was like it. this is so slow. Uh, okay. I think a best the best This is the dumbest thing ever. I think this would be really it. entertaining. No. In a football team, a game, yeah. you get one shot to get a touchdown. So you guys have to run, so dodge, stupid. jump, catch the ball. So and stupid. if you make a touchdown, great. <laughs> so if you stupid. don't make it, it's their t- team's turn. Well, I mean, like at the end of the happiness. game, that kind of happens, uh, like with like hail mary. But you're like right stuff. there at the end, but, and, like the, the Super Bowl ends with the right at the line. I do you think it would cool. be entertaining if football was played like soccer? No, that's hockey <laughs> or basketball. Basketball moves back or, or basketball. So much. And it's I funny. Like it's funny that the football team was tough to you because you are a very athletic guy. You're probably more athletic it's than the, all of them. Yeah. Which <laughs> this is, is crazy. This is what I, for sports. I don't like team sports. I don't like the technique and the game of it. Sure. I like I like a feat sports. of two people who can run the fastest, jump the farthest, jump sure. the highest, or boxers who can last the longest. I like that. Yeah. But the team stuff's like this is just convoluted and slow and boring. It's like come on. <laughs> no. And it also doesn't show how strong someone is or how good they are at. That, you like the Olympics. I like the Olympics a lot. Sure. I love that. Coming up. Swimming. Right. Is it summer? Is, is it, it in L.A.? No, uh, Tokyo. No, Tokyo, yeah, yeah. Oh, but the next one. L.A. is, L- yeah, maybe. Is that in four years? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I read, yeah a thing, like, yeah. I read a thing like five years ago, something like they, they were coming here and whatever year it is, and like, 80 something percent of the roads in Los Angeles are not up to like st- st- you know standards of driving on. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Yeah, they, and we don't need that mess. many people either. Where are they going to stay? There's the not enough hotels. It's already so crowded. I don't know how it physically. Yeah, LAX I guess is Tokyo be a mess. is probably similar to LAX. It, right? I, LAX has been really good this year. They've been trying Last to renovate year. it. Have you noticed I, they oh, keep oh, like Well, they rent, they put in the train too and everything which Oh, did they bring the train in? Is the train? I don't know if it's I don't know if it's I don't actually don't know what like, to what extent I mean, I'm sure everybody's been saying this for years like why doesn't the train go to the airport? Doesn't go didn't go to the beach. Like in every major city in the world, the train goes to the airport. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know what's tr- truly about the just thinking about this Patriots season because they were horrible? Yeah. I didn't even say Mac Jones, and I didn't. Even, <laughs> I couldn't even think of like our running back. I like. I like. Why I, would you think of Mac Jones? He's not. A, he's not. He's I mean, gone. he's no. He's, he's not gonna be a Patriot. We anymore. won't even talk. I don't even. Did the Patriots go far in the, <laughs> in the season? No. Well, we get three wins. Yeah, we got three. three. We we, we were like bottom of the get, barrel. Like, like I don't even know how you got to get. You got to like at least like well now like almost eight or nine, eight or nine can yeah. sometimes get you in. So they always play low, the Super Bowl, right, lower end. Not the two, anymore. The two Mac teams Jones that get so in the Super Bowl for the two teams that are in it, how many what games did they win to get there? Uh, wait. The, the, the teams that won the Super Bowl, like, who were in the Super Bowl, they had to win, win so many times. Out of seventeen there. games, they won what, like thirteen or fourteen, yeah, somewhere around on there. I don't, well, so I don't, how I don't, many yeah. teams does the game? How many times does the team play then? A year. Seventeen. Seventeen now. Oh, it now used to be sixteen. Yeah. yeah. They only play seventeen games a year. Yeah. Well, it used to be sixteen. Now they. But there's a lot of teams playing seventeen games. Every yeah, and there's a bye. Every team has a bye week. And how so. many teams are there? So it's like one. There's thirty-two teams, yeah. right? Is that right, or is there? Yeah. Is there less? Yeah. Thirty-two. Yeah. 32, 32. Yeah. I mean, there's there's three or four games every Sunday. There's a game every Monday. There's a game every Thursday. Sometimes there's games on Saturday. Now they're doing Friday night games. Yeah. Like it's ridiculous. Do you cash like in boxing at all? Uh, I used to watch boxing yeah. more. Uh, you know who I watched was uh, 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 Ward and Gotti. Those fights. Yeah, yeah. Those oh fights? my oh. god, the those Boston. Yeah, yeah, fight. Boston. Yeah, Mickey Ward. That yeah. I tell everyone <laughs> they have to watch Mickey Ward and Gotti. The trilogy. The first fight, they were just a small undercard. The first fight, um, awesome. they were they were just two random guys that were like this there to fight before the main event, oh, yeah. and they stole the show because they were punching the. Ho- this is so I started boxing a couple years ago, That's and right. in doing so. I was like, I'm going to watch what I like. And my coach was giving me suggestions. And I found these matches. I was like, this is what I want to do. Just straight bro. Do not stop punching the whole time. Because I feel like it's wasted time. I understand this wasted method. Time. It's like a chess match in a way. But if you have the energy, why not? If Why not just not punch? Why not be punching? That's an extremely large amount of energy. Those dudes. Not many people have it. Have you ever met your brother? I, but those dudes got did that. And it was crazy. I was like, this is what I'm talking about. They were throwing down so freaking hard the whole time. And they were just taking hits. I was like, yeah. this. it was just entertaining. 
boxing. It was a straight that brawl. made me love boxing. And they made yeah. a movie Mickey about Ward. Mickey. And then I Mark, mean, well, Mark Wahlberg. About, and, well, I guess it is about him. We know they're doing yeah. another one now. Yeah. Um, about another aspect of it, I think. Well, because they're do they did the uh, like boxing. They did the what was it? Um, the, fi- it the, the fighter. fighter. So but, Christian but, Christian Bale in that movie. I don't know if you guys agree with this. I think he is like the best. Uh, like he does the best version of a Boston guy. I, I mean, he's, I he's yeah. a fucked up Boston yeah. guy. He's yeah. like, but very it's fucked so up. on. It's so perfect. It's so. It's really. It's really not. Perfect. Yeah, Sometimes it can I be cliche, that, not over the top. That's what it's I like do. Nathan didn't agree, but I thought the Manchester by the Sea guy did a good job too. A Casey Affleck. Yeah. Did you not think so? He he is he's got he's got home field advantage because he's, he's from Boston. Yeah, oh, he yeah. Is. He's yeah. Oh, I did Ben Affleck's brother. Oh, he is. I like I liked a lot of the accents in Departed too, but like sometimes you get ones that are really bad. You know, I was in Mystic River. Were you really? I was an extra. I mean, wow, I love that. Yeah. That's Wait, cool what was the one that Clint Eastwood did? Are you seen today? Was that? Can you Mr. see me? Yeah. It, in one shot, I think you can see me. In I one think shot. you can see me. The best best thing about that movie for me, the story for me, was me and my brother Josh, who was a photographer at the time, and um, he just showed up. We were filming in the parking lot of his fiance's office. Yeah. And so he like went to see her, and then he came out to see me, and he ate crafty with me, had lunch, and we're supposed to leave. And Clint Eastwood was then doing an interview with somebody, and we just didn't leave. Everyone else left, and we just kept sitting there, and we listened to the whole interview that Clint Eastwood did with this woman. And my brother, Josh, was just trying to sneak pictures like of him the whole time. So that was our. Does he still that, have them? That rule. I don't know. <laughs> it was that I was she has the them. best part of that movie for me was that moment because I was just doing extra stuff in Boston before I moved out here. And the best part um, of being in Fairly Brothers, great comedy. Oh yeah, we're in Fever, Fever Pitch, Pitch too. Was that you we kept getting us. to eat free sausage sandwiches and stuff? Well, we were vegetarian, but <laughs> they yeah, kept giving yeah. us food. <laughs> that was fun. I made Drew Barrymore laugh at one point. That's that in that. You're thing. in Fever. I- I'll say this about Fever. Pitch. You can see us pretty well in that one too. It's in the flashback scene uh, outside of Fenway Park, like in the beginning. I remember I was in college. It was my senior year of college, and I was and I was watching the Red Sox win. I was so excited. And then I saw Drew Barrymore and Jimmy Fallon run on the field. I was like, "What the? F- what the? Dude, what's what the <laughs> hell is this?" Shit? I was so mad. <laughs> Get out! Know, loses. That's what happens when WWE, so like a celebrity shows up to WWE, and they're like, yeah. "Hey, so and so's here to promote the movie." The audience is just like. Pfft. Get out of here! Yeah. Yeah. But I gotta, than, I, gotta, I, I gotta give it does the same. I gotta give it to uh, what's his name the uh, the content creator guy who's who the, you know the evil guy who's in there now. He's not evil. Oh, Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's guy. not evil, but the you know, evil like, guy. Yeah, kind of a dingus. Guy. guy. He's he's a dingus, but he also like plays the role. He knows what he's doing. He's, he's doing a good heel. Well. He's, he's, he's good. good heel, he's yeah. athletic. Yeah. 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 I've talked to some WWE wrestlers there, and they said that no one really likes him over there because he doesn't like. Participate, oh, hang okay, out. Yeah. He just shows up, does the same. Because he's leaves. not part of the yeah, like. He's, he's not part he of the locker in, room. Yeah. Because yeah. he's not like a wrestler and a I'd wrestling fan. Him. Yeah. If I was in there, um, maybe hey, fingers crossed. We'll see if something might happen this year. But if I was in there, uh, you'd be the nicest guy. I would be pumped to be there, and I'd be talking and hanging out with everyone. I wouldn't want to leave, you yeah, know, because yeah. it's like a dream of mine to be a wrestler. And he just has this, and it's like just goes in and out. But that's sort of his character but also it's him in real life yeah so it's people over there like this guy's i'm not a fan so of you know how much i i would i as they say pop i would pop hard at dad coming out in the royal rumble or something yeah. i mean they, come on they don't do fun stuff as much like I know. that there are the problem everybody's named like ken clemmings yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i think <laughs> what happened Bill <laughs> o'malley Ooh, that guy's i want to cheer for him no i think no. what happened to wwe is they tried to be like ufc where they just gave him regular because someone just has so a regular, dave stevenson is a ufc fighter or whatever That's so ww no i'm just saying that for example if someone's oh. just a name normal name mike mitchell yeah right it's just a name boring, and boring. <laughs> it's not like the undertaker anymore it's not yeah. like characters like irs but they, I think oh, that's WWE. The one you IRS. I mean, everyone's everyone's role and character Undertaker. was a job. I hate IRS. In the '80s, it was a job. You were this. You were the mechanic. You yeah, were hacksaw awesome. Jim. Duggan, yeah, I liked that. The barber, that. Bruce the barber, beefcake. It was cool. But now, I think there was a phase where they were just trying to sound generic, mm-hmm. and that's why John Cena is just using his name. Well, he. That's why he did it. And then it became popular. Everybody wanted to be yeah. John Cena. It is going back to a little bit of the 80s now. And, and he had a bit of a character it's changing kind of, now, right? He mm. rapped a little bit and then he Yeah, he was like he was like the yeah, Mark Yeah, but Wahlberg. nothing to do with yeah. he was, he was, he was, Mark Mark. And he is a, he's a Massachusetts boy yeah, too, he, I know. Where that. Is he? Who is again? John Cena. Oh, he's from Newburyport. Or Newbury. You guys know or nothing Newburyport. about New England, do you? I do. I, I might do better on I might I might do better on this quiz than I thought. Oh, The quiz is coming. What time do we start? How long do we have to go? We are 24 minutes in. Okay. okay. We still got time for the quiz. We do the quiz at the end. Okay. All right. Great. We, we well, we do, why do we, we do it? We told them we wait, had wait, a quiz wait, wait, coming. Wait. There's a format now? 
Uh, we just often do it towards the end. <laughs> Since when? Since the, the seven episodes we've done. Up it is rules. true because that, it is true because that's just sort of the way. Oh, it they're they're, bar, they're brothers. They're, uh, yeah, I wonder brother, who. I wonder brother, who's brother, just being brother, brother, who's brother wrong. You get on his shoulders and I'll still fight you. <laughs> <laughs> that would make it harder. What for town us. are you from? <laughs> I'm from Quincy, Mass. Okay, so ah, you Quincy, know Quincy all the time. I wasn't yeah, sure if you were yeah. actually from Quincy. I am from Quincy. Yeah, you're born there. I was. Oh, I got some Quincy questions. I was born in. Oh, I bring it on. Well, I'll probably fail. I've been watching John Adams recently. Maybe that will help me. Oh, is that Paul Giamatti? Paul Giamatti, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. Um, I, uh, I I was born in in Dorchester. Uh, okay, uh, oh, okay. The, the Saint Margaret's maybe or something. I went to school in Dorchester. Does it matter what Did hospital you, you were born in? It's always weird where they ask you what Boston-y, hospital you're born that's in. That's a Boston like, thing. Framingham, because yeah, yeah. there's a lot of hospitals in the city. I, I was, was born at Milford Hospital. Wait, you, you went to actually? school in Dorchester? I went to U.S. Boston. The only time I went to college. You went to U. The you, only time. Oh, you. The went fact to that he graduated high school in Dorchester. blows my yeah, 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 mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I did. I did one class in, at UMass Boston. You did. Yeah. What year was it? It was. This is like the summer of 2003, maybe. I was there in 2002. Oh wow! And then we I dropped probably, out. We were close. And moved to yeah. LA 2004. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, do you have a college degree? degree? I do. Yeah, from Ithaca in upstate New York. I mean, in what? In what? Just moved out in. Similar production with a concentration in screenwriting. Oh, well, cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's I mean, met. that kind of applies right now. So that, you Is know, that it kind of applies, Jackson? but that's where I met. Yeah. So I actually knew Hanford. Of all the birthday boys, I knew Hanford. I asked Dutton. This shows how good of a student I was. Dutton was in the computer lab, and I yeah. went up to him, and I had a project to do the next day. And I was like, hey, how do you, like, edit a movie? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, you know, it was like the movie was like five minutes Hit long. Hit the edit button. Short. <laughs> but, but there you go, was, well, I mean. He, That's sh- funny. he showed me how to use funny. like a uh, final cut a little yeah, bit. He was yeah. like, sh- you know, because I had skipped the class where you did it. Uh-huh. And so he showed me how to do that. I mean, like, probably it, the was... most important class, the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you yeah. edit a movie? I was, I was just kind of a doofus at it. I probably shouldn't have gone to college in some that's ways. How I but felt. I, but I wrote, I, and I wrote crew there for a couple of years, which got me in oh, shape. Oh, that's cool. I didn't love crew guys are an interesting breed of people but yeah. i but i like i got myself a different in good type shape. of jock in a way oh yeah they i oh. mean I, they're kind of like it's i mean some That's of them are like some sport. of some of them are super jocks hold on hold on hold yeah. on what is crew it's when they roll the boat i know that, oh my he's an idiot remember the <laughs> whole an idiot. remember the thing i've been going on for the past year about how i want to row the the, the single should, the solo should boat i asked i should ask him you know the I, did. Yeah. Drop, Dude, the I did i did drop knee when you're on a knee and you're rolling. oh yeah yeah yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get into that and you need san diego or newport to do it out here it seems hard to like it's well you also need, like kind of calm water you need calm water you can yeah. do it at the you want to know something really weird yeah this is a very obscure thing and our dad is a sailor too he builds sailboats and stuff so yeah your rowing technique that nathan's interested in which i had never heard of i i started watching columbo which i had never seen oh yeah and in like the fourth episode there's a episode of the marina and this guy goes by in a rowing canoe in the same like he's on his knee that's like the crazy. weird thing. it was it so an weird thing. you should it's do it i think you should in do it in washington in canada it started up in the northwest yeah the that's, waters because they're like yeah they're the, big lakes and stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It so, can be calm in the bay not, there and stuff too not as very calm here but it's an olympic sport so I know crew. Everything's I Olympic like sport rowing. now. I just like rowing. I just like Dumb. the exercise. Sculling is the is the single singular one, right? I was in a boat. I was in an eight yeah. eight person boat. And you yeah. you were in the eight rowing. person boat. Yeah, eight, that's the crew. There was eight, that, and there's yeah. someone oh, yells the whole time, right? Yeah, the right? cock the coxswain yells out. The like, coxswain. Yeah, yeah. Our sister in law was that. Yeah, you're in, gonna be in tiny. Boston. You're just if you're tiny. Yeah. You're like a tiny. Like a lot of the time, it is it's it is woman yeah. or like a you know tinier guy or like a guy who doesn't weigh too much. Yeah. Yeah. So what was you could you could I mean you it was funny though because he was you was 140 would, you 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 would, you would you would you would be cutting weight too you know what I mean like they're oh, the yeah, co- yeah. coxswains are, are great athletes so the boat too. has like a specific weight total with he, people I mean you want no but you're saying they try to lose weight so that the, the boats quicker? yeah you try you try you, yeah. you try to cut weight you know the the person who's just got you know guiding the boat yeah. the coxswain's usually yeah. light you know you know you could just have them on a radio and put a speaker in the boat and then that, for motivation cheating. that's what the the, Save the some weight. like coaches would Save. be over like a, a megaphone yeah. just put a motor on the boat yeah, yeah. don't worry about <laughs> where it where did you grow like in the boston harbor i wrote it at, at ithaca i wrote oh, ithaca, so, yeah right. so i did so yeah. I, I cut weight and i like got in good shape but then mentally i so like i struck out i like i didn't even strike out i didn't even i didn't get to bat with any girls oh. at all but i like in my mind i was like I want to get in shape and like have a girlfriend. And yeah, I got yeah, in shape, yeah. and then I was like, I'm too scared to do that. So uh, I just, <laughs> so, it <didn't laughs> so, so it didn't happen. But I, but I got I got in great shape from doing it. And and but there were there were guys. It's a combo. It's either like some of the best athletes in the world are rowers, and then mm-hmm. the other guys are like failed athletes who like uh, want to be 
good athletes. I think yeah. it's kind of a combo yeah, of the two. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, like yeah. obviously, you know the uh, the two the brothers from Facebook. What's their, what are they called? The twins there. The oh, Army Ham, the, the Army Ham, yeah, Army yeah. Hammer, Army Hammer Brothers. Yeah, yeah, I they forget were their name. I know it. No idea. Who the... And and in, in, in the movie, in the uh, what's it called? The um, Safety Brothers, so, the Social Network. Social Network. Jeez, how do I not? Who directed that? Was his name? The famous Fincher. Fincher, Fincher. Yeah, yeah, Fincher oh, directed oh, oh, oh. it. The Facebook movie. Yeah, came right. I was just thinking the Facebook. Yeah, oh, yes. you saw yeah. it. Oh, those guys, Jesse Eisenberg, two guys, two twins, crew people. It was one actor who. They put his face on two guys. What the hell are oh, their they, names? They, they put his face on another Winkle guy. Winklevoss you know. brothers. The Winklevosses. Winklevoss. The Winklevoss oh, brothers. Winkle. I should be so, uh, asking the database, but uh, I'm being lazy. We have a database here, apparently, because don't break the it. engineer we, knows everything that we don't know to all these questions. No. <laughs> That's I know everything. The Winklevosses, I think, rode in the Olympics. Wow, really? And I think, you know what's funny? And think, they also created Facebook, and then it got stolen from them. They create, they helped create Facebook. Yeah, it got stolen. And they also made, They also came from money. I think everyone is a villain in mm, that story. I'm yeah, not, sure yeah, how many, yeah. <laughs> not sure how many good guys there are. But you know what's funny is that I think Colin Jost, mm. the Weekend Update guy, I think he rode with the Winklevosses. Really? Oh, really? I think so. Yeah. When they show like a boat in that movie... There is like a movie version of Colin Jost in one of those. Wow! Books, basically, did you really? see the George Clooney movie that came out recently, The Boys in the Boat? I did. I watched it with my mom. Oh, you because did. I was like about my, to watch it. My mom and dad loved that I rode more than anyone, but it was like two <laughs> full years of like of like military school at college. So yeah, it was like yeah. up into my junior year, I was like, I quit my junior year, and then I like had fun for two more years. But it was yep. like yeah. intense, and like you did. College wake sports up. takes your whole life. It's it took so much time, and like I said, like the benefits of it were like I'll get in shape. And like I can talk to a Funny girl, girlfriend. and then it mentally never yeah. got there. But like, and my shoulders just got huge because yeah. I rode wrong. Uh, oh, so my really? shoulders just got like very <laughs> big. Because you like, rode <laughs> wrong, I I kind of pull like you you're supposed to. Your yeah, you're, you're, you're supposed, supposed to use your whole back and body. Uh, and I was using, using my shoulders. shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're just shrugging. I mean, it was I I I couldn't do a pull up before then, and I like finally could do a pull up. There was stuff that I was like, well, I can like most people can't do. Well, it was it was it was like a great it, it was like a it was a huge milestone for me. Well, now yeah, yeah. I could not do a pull. I know you could probably do like fifty of them. I can. I, I don't weigh too much, but like yeah, I guess I could do a bunch. I, I got in really good do... shape when I started boxing two years ago. I got in like the best shape of my life. Also, didn't meet a girl, get a girlfriend. And I thought, yeah, what happened? <laughs> I was like, I was at so many boxing gyms in Portland and L.A. We bonded over this before. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and I, <laughs> doesn't seem to be it's working. So hard getting fit to... and then finding the girlfriend. It doesn't. It doesn't no, it's, I think it might be more mental. I think it's yeah, mental that, hurdles. You see guys who aren't in shape who have. Girlfriend, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh. Because they talk to women. I do too. You, no, you don't. I talk to uh, many human you women go, on, in my day. Human, human woman. It sounds like it sounds real when he said human <laughs> woman. Meaning like a person on the street, a woman. I ask a question. How do I get somewhere? I talk. I to talk to the cashier. Not my girlfriend <laughs> now. <laughs> I walk. I, I, dress, I dress like a. I dress like a grandfather. Are you gonna buy like protein powder at the store? Yeah. Oh yeah. Just want to get five buckets of it. Like oh, I'm gonna eat all this tomorrow. Wear a crop top and buy protein powder. Or just a vest. Wear open vest. Yeah. 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 Open bed. Yeah, you can, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like a villain from the yeah, 80s. You're badass art, dude. <laughs> like a puffy <laughs> That's a good one, dude. Like a Nicolas Cage character from the badass 1989. Badass art would be good for you. Have you ever seen that movie jacket? with Nicolas Cage? They've never seen it, but the one where he thinks he's a vampire. Oh. Vampire's Kiss. Yeah, Vampire's Kiss. Yeah, I, I I know of it, but I actually have never seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Never, never seen it. You watch a lot of movies, right? I do watch a lot of movies, yeah. Do you have... A, I, I, I brought a top five list of my top five oh, yeah. movies. Good, good. I, think that, I think that you would... Love my top five. Let's oh, really? Right now. I mean, I think. Well, like let me say mine five. first, and then yeah. see if you think I'm. Oh, don't uh, give him right. time to think. Well, not, it's not a task. No, he. I talked to him earlier about this. He says he I'm has, not going to be able to name one if you do the countdown. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't do the countdown. The countdown's That's so the best. Spike it. We don't have to go into these, but I'll just give the list. If the audience knows them, some <laughs> of them might know. Name it anything. My audience, who a lot of people who are watching Wait, this. Why'd you write them down? Because I, I, I wrote it down too. Cheating. I You're always cheating. have to write down because I just forget. I didn't write Let's mine go, down. Now I'm like, I'm now I'm like, oh, do I remember do all remember? of them? I'll get, I'll get. I'll, I didn't write I'll mine. Get. I didn't even think of mine. The place, the place beyond <laughs> the pines. No, wow. Okay. Like, right, number yeah, yeah. one. That's my number one. No, wow. Yeah, actually, going, I don't have a number. I'm going wow. number one to five. Yeah, yeah. I can definitely say that's my favorite. I can watch that movie all over and over and over. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's so many reasons. And that movie's like two. It's like three movies. Yeah. Honestly, maybe three. It's like three in my opinion. So, um, ain't them bodies saints. Casey yeah, Affleck. Oh, all right. Wow. I don't think I've guy. seen that one. This is this is wild. That, that is my I second mean, favorite movie. This, I'm a sappy guy. Yeah, I like this is very I like, 
You I knew like them better. Indie than you. alternative yeah. movies. I cry a lot too. I got each kind of helps. Do this. I'll yeah. go for kind of like not... being at the movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the last the three is listening to talk about Priceless, which is a French movie with Audrey Tattoo from Won't Amelie. Watch it. Won't watch Amelie, it. also one of my top favorite nope. movies. Amelie's Priceless great. is a really fun, good romantic comedy. Also, a con. I love cons and capers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's basically about her getting free stuff and the guy she meets, and then he starts doing it too. Scamming. And they're pairing up. It's super satisfying. I saw that also one just a long a good, time ago. That's in your top five? Yeah, yeah. I watched it again the other night because I forgot I had it. And I was like, oh, yeah, this. And you then, ever see Punch Drunk Love? Do you like I love, love that. Love. That's, yeah. that's in my top that 10, 20 for sure. Yeah. That movie's <laughs> awesome. Oh, it's in the top. top. I love that movie. Top. I saw right. Sandler um, do stand up the other night. Oh, you did? Yeah. Where? So funny. Was it with Mark Marin? Uh, no, it was Dynasty Typewriter. No matter. Oh, oh, he did his show as a drop in or something, or he, was it his night? It was it was announced, but he just like he's oh. doing a Netflix special and he did. Uh, oh, he, he did, did like, like kind of stuff. he did like an hour and a half. It was great. It was Everyone, so an hour and a half. It was so fun. Everyone's at Dynasty Dynasty Typewriter. That's like the spot. Yeah, that's just that's yeah, a spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that scene where he's just running after the whole. Oh yeah, stuff, and he great. dives. Yeah, and he just roll, and you don't see him land, but then he runs off. And it's like, what is? It's great. It's it is, yeah, I, it I, I sadly kind of relate to that guy a little. I mean, I think we. Probably I, mean, I think I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I relate to him. Uh, Duel. It was one of my top. Uh, I love that. Number four. Steven Spielberg's favorite. It's hard. That one moves around. Oh, I is love that the one Duel. you have the poster for? I have yeah. the poster for that one. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I own Duel and I've never seen Duel. You I have to watch it. Watch, watch, you have to watch it. Yeah. It's awesome. I bought I it on every good. day. I've never seen it. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. Really I bought good. it on. I bought it on iTunes and I've never watched oh, it. Sure. I, 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 I played it. It's short too. Yeah. It's made for TV movie. Well, actually, Spielberg's first. Is it his first movie? It's his first one. But it was a TV movie and it was like 60 minutes. Yeah. And then to release it in the theaters, he had to add 20 minutes minutes on so he there's a bunch of scenes that have been added you can't really tell though but yeah they added in a bunch of it's stuff. good i have a spielberg in my top five i have a spielberg okay yeah. I, I, well my number one is goodfellas I, wait is that it oh, oh, wait, 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 i didn't finish last, oh that was okay, oh, okay. No. last I one i thought i was last segwaying one. so yeah. perfectly <laughs> last one is ocean's 11 ocean's 11 that one you know what? The original I one? Know, no, you know, no, I like George, George Clooney. One stinks. I, because oh. I love a con and a terrible. caper. I, I realize it's movies that I, I can just I like always capers. go back to and watch and not get bored. That's one of them because I love capers and cons. And it's funny, a lot of Massachusetts people are in all these movies. Ocean's so. 11, I, I like it. Armin's in Ocean's 12 I, or 13. He's, oh, he's yeah. in the first one, I thought. What are they at? He's, no, he's in two or it's, oh, he's in the, one of the And he's, his character is Armin, too. His character is Armin's so eating a sandwich. And you know, it's interesting. I didn't realize it until after I'd met him and I watched it again. I was like, wait. I just always thought it was some random dude. And then when I knew him, I was like, that's Armin. It's Armin. Yeah, and he got to use his name in the movie. George Clooney's like buying something from him. He's like, hey, Armin, blah, blah, blah. It was like, how did how did that happen? Do you know the story about him get, being in that? I don't know. He, he just they just auditioned, auditioned and they were like, yeah, it's yeah, Armin. Because yeah. he was younger. Right? Yeah, he yeah. I mean, maybe maybe he was uh, like, you know, in his 20s at that point. That was just so interesting. It's cool to me. It's it's like, um, um, what's her name in he Always Sunny? He's in oh, is it? Round. Yeah. Uh, what's her name in Always Sunny? She plays. She goes by her name. She was in my e? Improv 101 class. Oh, yeah. No, the friend that lady that comes around every once in a while. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know um, Charlie's like yeah, the girl he likes. And he's married to in real life, right? Yeah. The waitress? No, no, not the waitress. Oh, okay. Uh, it might be. It's, what is her name? Oh, you should ask the database. Oh, you didn't hook it up. She's Anyways, a, pause that. Anyway, give sorry. us your top. Five. I'm sidetracking. <laughs> yeah, what yeah, are your yeah. top five? Top five. Goodfellas is my number one. I I love never, I've never it. seen I, that. Oh man, you should watch yeah. it. You never, yeah. man. You got to see it. He I, watches uh, capers. But, in so rom com. I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt too much. But I have never. Oh. I never watched like Casino, Goodfellas, The Godfather, oh, yeah. and like the big ones. Like, oh, um, what's the one with the little say hi to my friend? Scarface. 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 I never watched. I don't want to interrupt as he's interrupting. Just to say, no, so, and that's one discussion. Is that's needs, one of them? You need. I, mean, I need to watch those classics. Why have you ones. not seen Goodfellas? I, don't I know. have a thing. Oh, is that the one? Oh, am I funny to you? Is that that one? Yes. Yeah. I've seen so, that scene. You should watch Goodfellas and The Godfather. I think are like. A Wait, you're not thinking the taxi bus driver? Bus yeah. Oh, I did watch one of the Godfathers, and I was really bored. <laughs> It was the first well, one. You might, not, one. you might not like him then. Yeah. And also, I tried to watch that HBO well, wait, show. It's the Scorsese Sopranos, did I couldn't Goodfellas, get to that right? either. I didn't really What's like that? Scorsese Sopranos. did Goodfellas. Scorsese did Goodfellas, yes. But, you're, but that one is Coppola. Yeah, that's... Godfather that's yeah. Oh, yeah. Francis yeah. Ford? Yeah. I'm fascinated by the guy that was in Godfather, the actor, but I just couldn't do that. Who, Bra who Bra Marlon Brando? Marlon Brando. Yeah. <laughs> Streetcar a Streetcar Marlon Named Desire Brando. is one of my favorite movies. I saw his the movie, the only movie he directed, One Eyed Jacks. I saw it this last week, and oh, I saw yeah. a movie last was night. Was it bad? Was it good? Is it, it was, a sequel to it was, Kangaroo it was Jack? Decent. It wasn't like a. <laughs> <laughs> it's a western. I, I love western. Yeah, I saw a biblical yeah. epic last night, uh, Barbarous, uh, oh, yeah. which is like 
the guy who when they like crucify crucify Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Barbarous. They like they ask the public. They're like, who do you want to let? It's Passover. We can let. And they one let him go. go, and they let Barbarous go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, and and it was great. I liked it a lot. Who made cool. that? Uh, I forget the director's name. It was good. And the producer it's is new, like, right? It's no, 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 no. It's who like the sixties. It's nineteen sixty. Oh, I'm thinking something else. Oh, okay. that's right up your alley, dude. So, yeah. Goodfellas. The director begins with good, a F. Yeah, it was great. You should, you should, yeah, you should check it out. One. Goodfellas is number is one of the. I'll top send you five? a link to it. It's okay. on YouTube. Goodfellas oh. is number one. It's I number think. one. I love Goodfellas, okay. and I also love The Departed. But my top five, the Jurassic Park is. is oh, yeah, yeah. Park Nostalgia value. I mean, I just also like when I rewatch them. Like it's so good. I it love is it good. so it's much. Good watch. And, it's I a mean, good obviously, one to be up there. things have gotten out of hand now with the yeah, Jurassic yeah, Park yeah, movies. Yeah, but, a ton of them now. Uh, yeah, but awesome. Jurassic Park one is so good. And then uh, I would say Aliens. Aliens. Uh, Aliens. The second yeah, one. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the you cam- like the second one the, more? I like the Cameron one. Oh. I, 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 mean, I love I, the I, first I, one. Don't get me wrong. I love the first one. Yeah, I love yeah. the Ridley yeah. Scott movie. And I love Prometheus, which a lot of people don't love. Which I like Prometheus, God. too. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I, like, I, just like, <laughs> I just like seeing the, what do they no, call I the creatures? It. The white, the white oh, the, the so engineers. Yeah, I yeah. love seeing them. They're so fascinating. The idea of them is so fascinating. That's a suit they're wearing as well. I mean, that's white skin. That's which so which cool. One? The engineer, Prometheus. which is in Prometheus. Oh, Prometheus. I, I love, I, I, and I like, I love Ridley Scott. And then, why is it too that you like more than one? Uh, just because I think it's like one of the best action movies of all time, yeah. and also is I like, like the fight scene with her scary like, machine. And that is so, fu- yeah. it's so cool. That whole scene is. So, so you cool. think they basically did it again cool. a little bit better? Um, no, I just think that they're such different movies. I think the first yeah. one is like a true like horror and unsettling. It's just very and slow burn. The slow first burn. One. Yeah, and I then, love the first one. It's like the it's second like, one is like. Oh my God! This yeah. is so crazy. And, yeah, but it's then there's yeah, also like, scenes of actually, the yeah. face huggers and when yeah. they're in the room mm-hmm. and like they. And, uh, the first one feels very Paul realistic, Reiser. though. Like it feels like not yeah. far fetched. Like this could happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A, compar- and, yeah. a yeah. comparison I would make would be it's like First Blood and Rambo. First Blood is like a good yes indie movie about a guy going through a hard time, and then Rambo's or an even, action movie, or even Rocky yeah. and Rocky Two, or whatever. But, yeah, that yeah. too. Oh, okay. Alien, Alien Two is kind of like it goes eighties action in a way. So you this, said Goodfellas. Aliens, Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. This is so tricky for me because, like, I would say like the thing because I love the thing. I love uh, the thing, and I want to have. You ever John watch the Harper original Gere, one? Uh, represented, uh, uh, the, uh, the thing from another planet. Yeah, I watched that. Or yeah, it was yeah. called just the thing, wasn't it? I think it's the thing from another planet. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh. it's like the thing dot 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 from uh, another planet. And it's about yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a it's like an, a plant. But alien. that's what he remade, right? That's what, yeah. It's it's based yeah. on that. I mean, yeah. it's so crazy how different it is. Oh, obviously, okay. I mean, the, the thing is so. Have you seen the thing? Uh, the 80s movie I, not John a long Carpenter. time. You should see it. It's you should awesome. watch it again. Have you watched? My the new... brain is dumb, so I forget a lot of stuff. Have <laughs> you seen the new, <laughs> Same. the new yeah. True Blood season with Josie, Jodie Foster? No, but I heard that it's, it's like, like uh, the thing. They tried. That's do what I'm thinking. Thing, I was like, right. is this just the thing, the TV show? Yeah. I haven't watched the whole thing yet. The whole thing uh, episode season. Oh, I see what you. But did, in the yeah. beginning, it seems very similar. But I, I I watched the first episode. I wasn't that into it, but I got. That's I gotta, how I was. I'm yeah. forcing myself that's, to watch that's it. That's what now. the, the world Wait, is. I want to hear the rest of your list. Yeah, one here. more. So. One more. All right. So this is the top part. Is like, is like, my two favorites. I mean, besides Scorsese, I love Tarantino, and, and I love. Uh, um, Don't do it, Paul Thomas Anderson. Yeah, Paul Thomas so, Anderson is like he's one of my favorites. And that's a, like, of course, like Boogie Nights, Magnolia, and then like, there we and, and then. Uh, Honestly, Phantom Thread I love, and maybe I that would that even movie. be my favorite. I saw the movie theater in, on film when it came out. Oh, so me the too. Lemley, I loved it. Played it played in, in Pasadena on film. Lemley's yeah, it was a good it was, movie. It was, it's, it's, it's so good. I love that movie. Punch Drunk Love is my friend, favorite Punch Drunk Love is great. I mean, and then, a friend uh, has a cameo in that movie. She's in one of in the, Phantom Thread? In Phantom Thread. She's one of the models that walks through mm. one of the dresses. Oh, that's models. so cool. And then she had a very small cameo in Licorice Pizza. She's in the DJ with the radio scene. She's sitting there and the DJ's talking and she's like writing notes down or something. Sure. Licorice Beach is the only one that I didn't like love. Of, I didn't love it. It was cool. Everything. I was like, oh, yeah. this is all right. It I liked it because of boring. I like old LA. <laughs> it was my probably my least of all his movies, too. Yeah. But I Hard Eight LA was like 70. good, too. But it was, I, I liked yeah. Hard Eight. I, yeah, I, 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 like, I like Hard Eight. More. I don't think I know that one. This That's his first, like, first one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But Punch so, Run Gloves is my favorite. So is your last one? So my last one, like, I'm like, oh, I should put those in there. So the top 10 is easier. Uh, the top ten five. is easier because like it's also yeah. just like it after one I like too. say Goodfellas is my one but then mm. honestly number five 
I would say Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I love oh, Once yeah. Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that movie's it. awesome. I, That's I, a good movie. I love that movie. I love I that a film, LA. too. Well, you'd probably like um, so Good cool. Guys, right? <laughs> you know, good Guys? Oh, The Good, good guys? guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With uh, Ryan Gosling? Yeah, yeah. You're name? a Gosling fan. I love like. Ryan Gosling. Yeah, he's good. He's Drive Oh, Drive is probably number six yeah, or, yeah. or five on my top five. It's like bordering. I love Ryan Gosling, and I just I was, love I was about old to ask you L.A. Like Barbie, but if you say no, I yeah. think people get mad at you. Barbie, so. Oh yeah, I like Barbie a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I, like I saw Barbie it. I saw it day one in the theater. I did the I double. I'll get myself in trouble. I didn't love it too much, but everyone, I, I love. Like, oh shoot, I like everyone it likes it. I gotta I like thought, it. Yeah, I like I, yeah, I feel that way a little bit. It was good. I was entertained, but I, I don't know if I would watch it a lot. Nah. But it was like if someone had it on again, I'd sit I and watch it. Well, before we change off too much, so you like Goodfellas, but I think my favorite Martin Scorsese movie is The King of Comedy. It's great. I think I it's better than all That's his other movie. movies. It's great. Because I Joker don't... Joker did the it. Joker, the Joker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that movie is so good. And you said you related to maybe Punch Drunk Drug Love a little bit. Like, I yeah, feel yeah. like I relate to that Rupert character. Where, like, it's like I'm living this weird world where I'm trying to convince myself that I'm successful. But he also does things. the scams, like <laughs> cashing in, putting cat. He does that stuff. No, no. But, but this guy's delusional to the point where he's sort of convinced himself that he has an audience and he's in his basement and he's talking. Oh, in that of, movie. I think yeah, it's, it's really good. It's like, for some reason, it really resonated with me. And I was, it was kind of almost like a cautionary tale for me it was great and i was just like this is like the best movie he's ever made i think it's better than all his like mafia movies and stuff because i do feel like he's a little bit obsessed with the like, italian american mobsters sure and it's like why is he sort of uh praise these terrible people it's like he's obsessed with it but that movie was so different and i thought it was so awesome i just love that movie it's my favorite mm -hmm. movie his he does i think a lot of people see his movies and then they they think like uh, they 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 make that mistake of like, oh, he's like glorified. That's why it feels people. like glorified. Yeah, but I don't mm -hmm. think he. I don't think. I think. I don't no. think that he wants you to be like no. uh, criticize anything like that, though. Yeah. Well, it's, it, the issue is too is like Wall Street Bros. Like loved Wolf of Wall Street, yeah. which is also a yeah, great. Yeah. Movie. That would be yeah. so. His physical That's comedy, fun. Leonardo DiCaprio's physical going down the stairs. I was like blown away and jealous. That's pretty that. good because you're a great yeah. physical. It was. Comedian. He was so good going down that stair, opening the car door with his legs and all that. I was like, this is oh, that next part. level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like Jim Carrey old. Jim Carrey stuff, but yeah, I like was really into you didn't that. fall from the ceiling during the pilot, right? You just from no the pilot. I was just an audience. You're just an audience yeah, member. Yeah, yeah. And w Will Ferrell and uh, Jennifer Lawrence before she got big. Oh, Jennifer Lawrence was there. Yeah, she was the she was the guest. I didn't even remember. And then they that. ever made it. It was a fun show. Yeah, and fun. for the audience that doesn't know, there was Damn, there was it was a live show that Mike used to do called What's Going On with Mike Mitchell. Yeah, and I didn't do anything. They just pushed me. He out was the host stage. that didn't yeah, know what was going to happen. Kind of like now yeah. yeah, you're the host. But it was really fun, and they came up with tons of bits. And then they shot a pilot for it. Can you watch um, it? And it it's was, online. It, it was for online. FX. Yeah, yeah. FX it was, was for there. FX, yeah. They gave it, I think they gave it to Russell Brand instead is who got it. Oh. Oh, did they oh, do Oh, did the he show? actually shoot the show? Uh, he, they, they gave him a show. Like They said no to us. and then That's like, dumb Russell because the like, concept <laughs> is so much better with a guy you don't know. Yeah. Here's this guy named oh, Mike, and you're like, go. They didn't do the concept with Brand. They just gave him a talk show. Like, oh, that's like, that oh so they filled the slot. They were looking for a talk show. And that was what they were. And he like, stinks. So. I don't know if you know anything about like, him. Oh, he's, he's getting worse. Yeah. He's yeah. gone yeah. crazy. Yeah, he's bad. Yeah. He's yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we should put it out the word out there and get it going. I think the Mike Mitchell show. But speaking of uh, watching you in TV things, you are also on the AEW show with John Hennigan. Yes, and yeah, Taya. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Johnny loves Taya. I'm also in uh, two episodes. I know your your buds. I just talked to him yesterday. He's a great. He's great. John. Yeah, yeah. I talked to him John, yesterday John, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Was he driving? John. Uh, yeah, I think he was. I, I driving. talked to him. Yeah, I was yeah. driving. I was stuck in Santa Monica because it's a Glendale traffic, and uh, I talked to John as he was driving as well. And he, we he, probably talked to him like around the same time. We probably, I probably, may, we might have been a combo call. call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he, so he, uh, you worked with him when you were boxing too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I trained yeah. with him. I've known him for uh, ju through Justin for like ever, and he yeah, and I just, John, John and I just became friends, and we just he was in a bunch of my videos in the past. Yeah, and he's a, he's a gr he's a great guy. I got him into Creator Clash. He's and more he ripped than you too. We were talking. More ripped than everybody. He's Your boxing ripped. debut was impressive. I'll tell you that much. Oh, I will you, never mess with you ever again. <laughs> <laughs> you guys could take me. I I, I yeah, dropped twenty two pounds for that. I because I wait. I don't know. I was eight. watching you. I thought you you're you're quick. I mean, I wouldn't mess yeah. with either of you. I mean, I wouldn't mess with any of you. Yeah, I won't tell you anyway. I'm, uh, I'm almost six three. Like six. <laughs> okay. Six, oh, wow. six, six, Short. Okay. Short. Paul Massachusetts. Short. Guys. 
Yeah, no, I, I would not. I, 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 of course, I'm hard to move. I feel like, but yeah, yeah. You want to test that? <laughs> have you ever? <laughs> have you ever tried boxing, like hitting the bag or anything? I did. I remember. I, I went. Yeah, there was there was a place called O'Malley's, this gym in Quincy, and yeah, O'Malley, it, and was then, O'Malley's. it was called O'Malley's. It was called O'Malley's. No Surprising. I, I remember. I like went and they were like, let's do like the warm up, and you're like on your tiptoes, like just around the oh, yeah, ring. Yeah. And I was like, I did that, and I was like, I'm like gassed after the cardio. Was, like, was that crew days or no? This is this is before crew day. So oh, then okay. when I did crew, it was like, oh, I'm like really, my body like hadn't moved like that ever, and it yeah. was a lot of <laughs> yeah. It was a lot. It was it was it was like six you know six mile runs and stuff like that, which Lots I never of done. the worst like constant running. Yeah, you can't run, you swim. Yeah, and it's easier on your joints. What, should we do a time check? Because I don't know. Because we could do the quiz. Oh, yeah, too. should we do the quiz. We're 50 minutes. In. It's time for the quiz. Okay. It's time for the quiz. Well, right. Bob and I didn't do our list, but we oh, yeah. Yeah, do your list. Go through your list and we'll do the quiz. We're going to do a list real quick. What are your top five favorite movies? By the way, I was going to say, well, uh, John, I, he's great and he's also uh, like so athletic like, yep. like yourself. Crazy. He's, he's crazy. John Morrison, we're talking about audience. He's, John Hennigan, the wrestler. He's an AEW. He's yep. great. And he is, uh, and, well, he does Ring of Honor too, but yep. but uh, but he's, he's uh, and Taya is uh, yep. so great. Yep. But uh he he's he's just he's like one of the most athletic wrestlers there are. But I also worked with uh, Samoa Joe. Oh, cool! Uh, I did this mo- uh, sh- uh, show, Twisted Metal. Did you? Did, did, oh yeah, oh, they did a show of the game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. is that out now or is it? It's recent? on. It's on Peacock. It's yeah, on Peacock. Yeah. Oh, everyone, yeah. watch it. Mike's on yeah, Twisted Metal. Out. That's awesome. Oh, nice. I play and Samoa Stu Joe's Mike and too. Stu, which is like a playable character. Oh, right cool! Yeah, That's awesome. awesome. So I hung out with yeah, I hung out with Joe uh, uh, like in New Orleans last summer. Like wow, yeah. that's a fun job to be. Yeah, it was awesome. It was so much fun. He's, wow, well, I heard he's about cool that. as hell. I didn't and know I, he was acting and doing stuff like that. He does. Will Arnett does the voice of it, and Joe was such a good actor. I was kind of like, I was like, oh man, I wish he, they, Joe just did it. But then the combo of the two of them is great, and he's like a great physical actor. Yeah. But that funny thing is, is that as a big guy, you may you may know this as well. It's like you don't. I don't. I don't feel like small very often when you just said like <laughs> yeah. you want to test that. Like it is that funny <laughs> thing where Joe. Would like talk, and I was like, I feel like a little kid again. It was yeah, like, yeah. Nice. Yeah. he like, move, you know, like could like I felt like I was being off. cradled. It's yeah, funny, yeah. he often he, he's like a big guy, but in ways he looks smaller than a lot of the other wrestlers, which is means if he's well, that big, then dead. the other wrestlers are even bigger. He's just such a strong dude. Yeah, like yeah. he's just like you know, like a naturally strong dude. He's yeah, just, yeah. Just like yeah. when you shake his he's hand, like you're just strong like, oh, man. Yeah. Man. You feel it right away. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I would never. Your arm feels like spaghetti suddenly. Yeah, being also the nicest dude in the world so yeah. you never have to but he i would never i would never mess with him <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a world of giants oh, yeah 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 it's huge in wrestling and just strong too because I, I mean yeah. like i'm a tall guy but then that like some of those guys just have that like yeah. bone strength yeah yeah yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like milk i call that younger. dad strength it's just yeah just firm and strong yeah 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 i remember my dad even when my dad my dad had cancer and even when he had cancer he's like let's like fist like let's like like let's spa or yeah, whatever yeah. yeah yeah and i was still like hey he's kicking my ass yeah spa so you went and got like pampered <laughs> <laughs> oh, the spa. Spar. Spar? <laughs> New, New, the New England spar. spar. <laughs> yeah, Seth England and I spa. never got the Boston. My parents are from Rhode Island, or near Rhode Island. My parents have a Rhode Island accent, which is very similar to Boston. Well, so, sure, yeah, yeah. Me, Seth, and my older brother, Josh, never got the accent. Like, we say yeah, It's because you were so anti josh Bob has it a little sound bit, like too. <laughs> well, I didn't even think about Not it. As well. I've been here a long time now. I just hit I've, it up for the... I've, I've been here 20 years. I'm the same. I, 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 I remember when my, in Ithaca, there mm. was an orientation to, like, say your name and say a little bit about yourself. And then I started talking, and, and the orientation leader was like, "Hey, hey, like, don't do a character." And I was like, "Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I was like, this sucks!" <laughs> no and you're way. like, "This is just how I sound." This is how I sound. Yeah. For real? What and also, it is like New York. I was just That's like, "Hey, my name so is Mike. I'm funny. from Quincy," and like, she thought I was like doing like. And then, sort of, like, did you like, tell her it's just me? She thought I was doing like a bit. And you yeah, said this yeah. is me. I was like, "Yeah, this just yeah." I was like, "This is just me." It's just my. And she was like, "Oh my god, oh, I'm so sorry." That's so funny. But uh, but yeah, it was it was bad. And then like New York people would make fun. Me. So I mean, they don't like Boston. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we don't like them either. Okay. It was like Long Island and New Jersey people. So yeah. I was like dealing with a lot of those people, and then, <laughs> so I, you know, like four years up in upstate New York, and then I came out here, and I was like, as an actor, you know, like uh-huh. I don't want, I didn't want to have an accent. But it's funny because I'm like, I don't have one anymore. And then some people would be like, 
you have a horrible one you drink or you talk to friends. Oh, like it, it comes just, out. Yeah, it's out. back. And when uh, you get mad, I bet it comes out. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, but I, I, it's so faded now. I mean, it's yeah. been 20 years. Yeah, here. I never had it. I never. No, had yeah. It. yeah. You don't really. Yeah, I didn't rub off. You guys are both born. You got. You can slip out if you if because you were west a little west too, right? Like sometimes you. Yeah, get we grew up. On, we grew up on the Cape. Seven, well, my parents had. My oh, mother has like a Rhode Island accent. Damn, right. Actually, well, she's well, got like a. Well, for a few years, we. That's why I remember the most. But then we were in Medway, which if you know Medway at all, they it's don't. Milford and Medway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank, you know, Franklin. You know Franklin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and yeah, Natick yeah. and all that. Yeah, yeah. It's of not course, too yeah. far from all that. Okay, yeah, yeah. But our parents, my dad has some kind of a Boston accent, but my mom's is like a weird blend of like Rhode Island and like. I don't know. Yeah, my mom's Boston. from like Cumberland, yeah. Rhode Island area. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Black Cumberland Cumberland Farms. Farms. Yeah, Cumberland Farms. Cumbies. Cumbies. <laughs> well, we're almost out of time. Right, top five. So maybe Quick. I can't. I don't have a top five because oh, I, my favorite go. movies are we always. We need a whole hour just for him. Yeah, yeah this is no, not going to Just say five movies. I'll then. say a couple that you I You say like. you some years. Uh, I switched between uh, Terminator 2 and Dawn of the Dead as my favorite movie Great. of all time. Yeah, okay. Original Dawn of the Dead or Snyder? Original. I won't watch Snyder. Day of the Dead is my favorite dead movie I love day it. is why because it's, it's more wait, it's kind of too heady dude it's like when they sorry that i'm the only person who's eating snacks no i, I had a snack. snack i, I ate a whole ton of yeah. peanuts right before this yeah. the, the, that the, have you seen day of the dead yeah yeah the end is that's like, the mall one right the effects no day, day is the one that's in there in a bunker dawn is the mall yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. i've seen them all day is like the it's been a while depressing, like, it's depressing they're both it's, depressing yeah, yeah. Well, day is way more depressing yeah i actually yeah. like the snyder dawn remake i think he did a good job but i but i like they shouldn't run yeah oh yeah that's, that's fair you don't like the running that's yeah. I, I get it it's like a nostalgia thing though. oh yeah. yeah so what okay terminator yeah. 2 with dawn of the dead terminator 2 probably t1's in there too just because terminator one's strong, awesome yeah. i love terminator one uh uh, that's my top three. I'd probably say the whole Hellraiser series. Oh, wow! Yeah. Oh, really? I wouldn't well, think of that. Like, I've never seen any of those. Yeah, not me. You've never seen a Pinhead movie? No, I've seen the cover, but that's about it. I hate you so much. <laughs> I yeah. know the guy's well, I, got the stuff in it. I think we're face. we can't be friends. He's pale. Too. Pinhead. I'm not a fan either. He doesn't like the Trevor. Have you seen him? You just don't like. You just don't like. I've seen oh, horror movies. Like, and I don't like. Do you like watching pus? Z- you don't like horror popping videos? No, 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 no. Okay, no. I love them. You don't like any horror movies? <laughs> I like to. I like Ask Chainsaw Massacre that. in a way. My mom and sister like that. Yeah. So do you have one more? What's your last one? I don't have one more. That's it. My the reason I say I don't have a top five. Head Chatterer. There was a who's the all all the all the Cenobites. The Cenobites. Who's it? Dude, CD Head. CD Head. CD Head's the best, dude. There there was that's in like the third or fourth one. Who's the chubby one? There was a YouTube video that was like very. I was watching. I mean, there's new ones in every movie, and there's like eleven movies now. The the chubby one was around for what the hell is his name? But he was around for like he's uh, he seems like a a a Cenobite uh, regular, but there was there's oh um uh, Chatterer. Pinhead, then there's like female Cenobite that didn't do a good job naming her. Uh, yeah, female. Yeah. And, and then <laughs> the the, didn't try very someone hard. over there, someone over there will help. The the database will help us. But oh yeah, uh, I, I the at, mouse died. I'm we'll sorry. Flash it up on the thing on the post. The database is failing us. There's a great YouTube series of like this guy who like goes over the Cenobites and he's like, like I forget the big one's name because this is where I'm pulling the quote from but they're like chatter is like the most diabolical of the cenobites it's this guy who like does like a dark recap of all the cenobites it's oh, great funny i'll send you to the link it's a great it's a great Super uh funny yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny because the setup they don't have they're just there what is a cenobite it's like it's like the minions they're oh, they're they're oh. they're, hu- they're, hu- they're human once former humans who like open the yeah what is the box called pandora's the, box uh, Pan- pandora's box oh yeah, pandora's yeah. box is part of hellraiser Le, the the Leviathan, uh, yeah. the, oh, I forget. And is Hellraiser the guy, the main guy, a uh, Cenobite? Uh, Who's the guy in the cover? Cenobite? Like Pinhead? Pin, Pinhead is a Cenobite, and then um, the in like Hell is like a weird other dimension. It's not oh. like the Hell is different. The lore is kind of weird in it. So yeah, mm-hmm. I love the, I like that you like the Hellraiser movies. They're, they're, I like them a lot. They're, they're great. I'm not mm-hmm. like like I, even even stuff I'm super into. I don't go too deep because I don't care. Yeah, it's yeah. like. Like it? Wow! Come on, dude, come on. I've been holding that one in for a while. <laughs> you got, did you hear that, John? Ah, it kills! Ah! You want to die? Is he gonna smell? <sighs> Will no, it? I don't think so. It's just, some, it's just some. He farted. I'm one it's just inch some loose from air. <laughs> Just all some, right, new rule: Don't fucking do that. Just an air poop. Don't. It's funny for do all that. of us. To, it's funny for all of us to do or at this least for the rest of the day. I have to go to the bathroom so bad. I have to whiz so bad right oh now. God, are we gonna go? We, all right, quiz. T- we, wait, wait, we might be out of time now? then. We gotta go to the quiz. Let's do the quiz. We can do the quiz. Do the quiz. <laughs> go. 
You want your phone? Oh, we're doing the quiz. I didn't do my movies, but no, I'll do that another time. We'll do your long. movies next time, Seth. Holy crap. Well, yeah, it's going to take 70 years just for you to get I don't know what order we're going to air these, but our next guest Holy is Johnny Pemberton. Crap. Oh, hello, Johnny. Hello, Johnny. All right, we're have you do done his podcast? General New England uh, question. I have not, no. I did his ones. He's got a good one. All right, we'll start with an easy one. Okay. What is the Massachusetts state juice? Cranberry. Cranberry juice yeah. has to be. If you know it right away, don't yell it out. You asked. I would have said the same thing. Yeah, but don't yell it out right away if you know it. Why? All right. Because we we want people. Well, he's guessing. He doesn't know what he's guessing. No, he knew. No. Well, that's my guess. It's obvious. Cranberry juice. Cranberry. It has to be. Butterball is. Is that right? Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. Butterball is the is the fat is the fat uh uh guy from from uh, Hellraiser. Oh, Butterball. Oh, butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Butterball. Okay. I also couldn't remember the other Patriots quarterback this year, and I just remembered when I Zappy? saw Butter Zappy. Yeah, oh, okay. Bailey Zappy. <laughs> I, I, Butterball, oh, Butterball Zappy? triggered it for some reason. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, here's a, here's a softball one for you, bud. So Mike answers first if we want. Uh, well, he's going to get this one pretty easily, I bet. Well, maybe not. You might, you guys might know it, too. Where, if, or if you know it, what Los town Angeles? was the first Dunkin' Donuts? Queens I know this. Massachusetts. Yeah. Oh, it is? I yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I actually don't think that's tr- in Massachusetts, yes, but the first Dunkin' Donuts ever? Winsocket, Rhode Island. Nope. Nope. Isn't it? It's Quincy, Massachusetts. Quincy, oh, that's CVS. Sorry. <laughs> CVS. <laughs> CVS is Winsocket. I Completely remember that. Completely different thing. All because together. as my character, Keith Apicare, who's from Winsocket, Rhode Island, right. I always talked about Both CVS. beloved institutions for Massachusetts. Yes, uh-huh. yes. I got another softball one here. All right. <laughs> what town were Fig Newtons named after? Mitch, or do I? Do we just chime in? <laughs> I have a guess. I said my name. <laughs> <Did you say wrong? laughs> well, that's a funny answer, Nathan. I mean, <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. Wait, I'm confused. Uh, I, I mean, you, you know, you, wait. What's you know, the question you, again? What it, town just... was? What town? Oh yeah, it's obvious. It's in the. It's in the name. I would think. Yes, it's in the name. Newton, Newton, Newton Mass. Are you sure? Are you I'm sure? not sure. I'm not I mean, sure, but I'm guessing. A question. I'm guessing fig. Newton. I'll say fig. Newton, Massachusetts. Yeah, it's Newton, Massachusetts. Okay. okay. It's a softball question. You got to get Our this. Our sister in law is from there. And also, Wait, Don this has nothing to do with softball. Oh, really? John Krasinski is from Newton. And, they, and also, BJ Novak, I think, is Oh, my softball. God. You they met. They were on the office, and they're both in the same town. I thought town. you meant it was yeah. like. Or maybe it was in the same town, but they're both oh, in Massachusetts. Holy. Anyway, Shit. our sister in law went to school with John Krasinski. Oh, all right. Yeah. Newton's yeah. nice. It's a nice. It's really nice. It's really nice. It's, it's a bit of a rich town. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a bit of it, a It's like town. Wellesley. Yeah. Nathan probably saw it too. Oh, my God. The we're, not, we're, not, we're gonna, we're gonna no. glaze over how dumb that statement it was from you because they were. I used to work, Seth and I used to work in Wellesley and at this, like, my dad was like, is like this grounds of like this old mansion and we'd take care of the grass and the trees and stuff and my dad was like sort of the boss of it and then we'd go the, 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 and trim trees quiz. and it was in Wellesley and we'd go get lunch at the Whole Foods and it was just billionaires like buying like, yeah. okay. all this food. Let me get to the quiz yeah, yeah. with your crappy tangents. In 1931, <laughs> <laughs> they made it illegal to put what ingredient in clam chowder? Oh, You're not going to give us a list? Ooh, this is, is there this, a, this multiple is choice? Clams, clams. I, I, that is the stupidest answer. <laughs> no, because that actually sounds like it could be. I, I, I have thing. two. I have two things. I think it might be. Yeah. The first one is tomato because, like, that's like you know, like ours is. It's like a Manhattan clam chowder yeah. has tomato in it. The other oh. one was like I was like maybe bacon or something like to change up, but I think it's gonna. I'm gonna say tomato. Do you want to guess? I have, quickly. I, it's probably some. It's probably some old ingredient Third that point. would kill you or something like cocaine or something <laughs> weird. I, something cocaine. like that. Because they know they took cocaine out of coke. Yeah, yeah. It's some, I, I don't know something like ding, that. Ding, ding, ding. Tomato. tomato. Really? It was yeah, Why was it? That was, was it that illegal was like because of knowledge? <laughs> that was like deep knowledge of the East Coast. But wait, was but, it illegal because said, it was a New York thing? I said clams because it wouldn't surprise it's me. It's like, called clam. No, chowder. because if there was a, there was, if the, <laughs> I know, but if there was like a uh, a red tide or something, like oh no clams in the clam chowder this time. Because know, it'll poison you. It would make sense. But why was it made illegal, Bob? You said it as a year, like because you're not supposed to put tomato. It's just one of those things. You're not supposed to. Yeah, yeah. That's an but the fact that you exactly. put a year and it was on. illegal. They made it illegal because the mayor was like, "F New York, you can't have tomato. <laughs> you You're going to jail cool. otherwise." They made cool laws back then. Because you put a don't year try, on it, made me think, "Oh, there must have been like a." That is so oh, funny. It's like that rule of like you can't carry an ice cream cone in your back pocket on Sundays in Wisconsin. <laughs> have you heard that? <laughs> I, I don't know what city it is, but it's a okay. someone that doesn't love that. Oh, I got a bunch, dude. Where is the birth birthplace of the American dream? Baseball. What's the American dream? It's a town. Oh. Oh, I don't know. I'll say Orange, Massachusetts. Boston. Good guess. Boston, good guess. You know it's an orange? In Mitch? I feel like I should know this, and I'm not sure. The, the birthplace American of the American dream. dream? Dusty Rhodes, the American dream? Is it him? Yeah. Is it him? I'll give you one guess. Oh, is it really Quick. about him? 
No, it's not a wrestling Worcester. question. Well, because he's the American dream. You already guessed Boston. I don't like. Is it Brancher or Weymouth? It's God Country. And Quincy, Mass. Quincy, your town. Oh, I do you not. Are, it. You are the I American very I, oh, I do not know that. Back. I got a softball one hit. <laughs> it means it's easy. I okay? know now. I know easy. now. <laughs> I did not know that. What's the state dog? Le- oh, it's got to be Golden Retriever. Or Black Lab. Uh, uh, oh, Lab. It's got to be Lab. Because uh, it's like the the Dawson <laughs> Terrier. Ding, ding, ding. There we go. Oh, that makes sense. You also got to not just jam out answers. <laughs> we're never going like to know that. otherwise. <laughs> we're no, we're, we're all like it. racing for the bell just here. Just say it. <laughs> the buzzer. <laughs> all right. Another, another. Keep How many with more? This team. How many I got more? a million. Oh, my God. How much? We, we should wrap it up at some point. Cookie. Ooh. Oh, oatmeal raisin. Yeah, that's, that's that what I sounds think. like a New England thing. Oatmeal raisin, but ginger. Are we all snap, agreed maybe? on that? Molasses. I'm gonna say ginger snap. Ginger. Snap. I think it's oatmeal. Yeah. I think oatmeal raisin. I don't know why I said oatmeal raisin, but it just popped in my. My heart. dad loves oatmeal Is it chocolate raisin. chip. Ding ding ding! Chocolate chip. Wow, oh, but that's like the everyone state cookie. No, no that's like it's because it Massachusetts was, was one of the yeah, first states. So really, it gets, it gets all the fancy stuff quick. He's running. He's they got. Back. They did get. All right, far oh, he's far. What the, far what's going on here? with you two? Last we question. <laughs> the vegetarian. Where diet. is, what town is the city of presidents? I will. The city. Oh, the city of presidents. Well, you know this one? But you didn't Washington, know the other one? Washington, D.C.? No, it's in New England, uh, Boston, or Massachusetts, at least. It's probably Boston. Well, I don't right. think they got the theme yet. Phrase no. the question. Oh, either Cambridge. Wait. City of presidents. <laughs> It sounds like I pooped on that one. Yes. Can you guys hear these over there, John? The mic's not picking up these great Bob. parts I'm giving out here. Can city you, of Presidents. What town is the city of Presidents? Yeah. Just think of this. I know the answer. Can I just? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah just all right, say it. All right. I, this, I can't it? think of it. Lincoln. Quincy, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. It's all Quincy. Oh, the theme. Like the theme. Oh, my God. What about Lincoln, Massachusetts? That's a president. Yeah, it should be Lincoln, honestly. No, because there's two. It's like it's uh, John Adams and John Quincy Adams were yeah, both yeah. born there. And they're, oh, they're buried in there in a tomb there, first Baptist Did they name Church Quincy family. after him, John Quincy Adams? It's the Quincy family, I believe. Yeah, oh, yeah. so they named the town after that. Yeah, because it could have been Lincoln. That one could have been Lincoln. Stinking Lincoln. All right, the last one, super easy, the state donut. I know. Glazed. No, I know. I, I'm not going to say it. How do you I'm going to know guess. that. Oh, I know. I know. 100%. It's in the name. Yes. Yeah. Boston Cream. Yeah. Oh, Boston Cream <laughs> has to be. I mean, I got a million more of these. Cause oh my. God. I got one do for you. you. Okay. I forgot about g- g- give me, give me a tough, give me a tough one. Okay. And then what? I have one Who final question. This? I got one for, one for Seth. My nose. You might notice here. Who's the state artist? Mm. Ooh, He's a famous a Massachusetts. My mom. Oh, is Paul? Is Pollock from there? It's not Pollock. Okay. Th- it, it's. Very American. I should know this. Oh, oh, what's his name? Oh, the fifties guy. Saturday evening post guy. The fifties guy. It's gotta be that guy. Uh, Sam Rockwell. Oh. Not Rockwell. Sam Rockwell. Not R- Sam. R- not Sam Rockwell. The actor. Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. He was from New England. Yeah. That makes his, sense. His his uh museum is in Western Mass. It's awesome. You should go. Oh. Um, Quincy used to be Braintree. It was established. Oh, it was in part of Braintree. Uh, yeah. Braintree oh, is one of the. You try, is this your redemption arc right now? Uh, oh, I didn't know God's <laughs> the God's country. Which you know, I heard so many people saying God's country. I probably will get roasted for that forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have a, a massive but I also following. Right? I, I I didn't know if that I mean, was no, a trick it's a, question. It's the American dream. Oh, the American Birth dream. The American oh, sorry. Dream. Yeah, what I, does that even oh. mean? The idea of having an American dream. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't what is the here? Give me, give me. Give, you got a tough one. Give me a tough one. Okay. I mean, uh, I don't have any. Extra- I have a question for you. I mean, I have, I, I have like it. sports ones and stuff. Um, what is your favorite coffee place? Dunkin' Donuts. Is it? Is it? Do you have to say that, or is it actually? No, because I, 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 you know what? I the caffeine in a small Dunkin's coffee is like just it, Starbucks will get me jittery, and a small Dunkin' coffee Dude, is, is, is Dunkin' Donuts is the best shitty coffee. It's great, great it's shitty. The, coffee. And if you drink iced, it's and you like better. it more than. Starbucks, right? Oh, it's way better. What's your favorite coffee? I love ever? it. Way more than Starbucks. A large ice black from Dunkin' Donuts. From Dunkies. Really? Yeah. Not like Intelligentsia or some fancy coffee place. No, no, I do like fancy. Well, I'm, ta- I'm talking. I'm talking fast food coffee. I like a large. But if ice you were, if you were to only drink one cup of coffee forever, what would it be? I just a cold brew from a fancy place. Okay, so Intelligentsia or like a nice. I would maybe uh, choose Dunks because I just really? don't drink coffee that often. So like, a okay. yeah, so I drink coffee a lot, but I mean, Seth and I don't drink coffee at all. For the so most I don't know consistent coffee. regular coffee. A large ice black from Dunkies is what I, and that's a gallon. It's amazing. <laughs> a shitty diner coffee too is always. Pretty I mean, I like yeah. shitty diner coffee, yeah. not so much in LA because 
the shitty diner coffee is not the best. I made a quick know. list. I'll read it to you. It's not my favorite movies. Okay. Let's, Let's hear it. Finish this off. This is the end of the episode, everyone. Thanks for watching. No you have to do the outro. It's going to be quick. Mike because has to do the outro after this. Some of my favorite movies, but not my top favorite movies. McCabe, what? McCabe and Mrs. Miller. Yeah. Never seen playing, it. He watches it all the time. Playing at the Vista this next week. Oh, is it? Oh, you should go see yeah, it. Yeah. He watches it oh, I haven't been time. to the new Vista yet. It's all great. Gotta go. I saw Tarantino there the other day. Oh, oh that's cool. Yeah. Oh, because he bought it, right? He owns it. Oh, oh shit. Siri's talking again. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? All Fellini movies. All, all Fellini movies? All of them? What's your favorite one? Uh, either Eight the, and a Half or Armacord. Or the Blonde Lady Armacord. one? The first one? Never seen them. Whatever. Oh. Never seen them. Ali Furies the Soul. Do you ever see that? Mm-hmm. Nope. Rain of Fassbender? Nope. Uh, Fanny's Film, which is a short film, which you probably won't know, by Franz of Woods. Alice in the Cities. Mm-hmm. Vin Vendors. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I don't even know what words you're saying. Right Force oh, yeah. Force Majeure. Force Majeure is a yeah. good movie. That's the only one I've seen out of those. Those are just some of my... They're not my top five, but I Why love, don't you have a top five? Because they're always changing. I, I love so many movies that I can't, like, pin it down. You don't have a favorite movie of all time? No. Those that, are some of my favorite movies. I know his least favorite movie. Um... Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Oh, I used to be really afraid of that movie. Oh, man. I the love, original? I just rewatched it. And I, when I was a kid. It, I actually rewatched it, too. I really love Gene Wilder, Wilder in it. Yeah. He's a, a But I actually. What was it that scared you? Oompa Loompas? Oompa Loompa. I, I still, <laughs> at 40 years old, I skipped the Oompa Loompa <laughs> part. I mean, they do, like, kill the children. I don't like the music. Uh, so I get why it's terrifying. Yeah. Uh, do, wait, I want you to hit me with your hardest question. I want to see if I can, I want to redeem myself. I mean, most of them, like, I got sports questions. Most of them are state things. All right. I don't think I have any more, um, I mean, that that Clam Chowder one, I think, was, like, a really good one. I don't, have, I don't know how you knew that. I don't know how you knew that. Just pick one more. I don't have any more Quincy them. ones. Do you know sports? Yeah, I know sports. Yeah, yeah, Like, are you good at sports? Yeah. I, I, okay, here's a good Here's a good Patriots one. Okay. Who is the all-time scoring leader for the Patriots? Oh, man. I should know it's this. It's kind of a trick question, too. Hmm. It's not. It's kind of All-time kind of scoring player? Leader. Who scored the, the, t- the touchdown, guys? Who does the touchdown? Um, the f- quarterback does not, right? Can anyone get points in football? <laughs> I don't know. That is yeah, a great coach. Is a quarterback coach. doesn't do touchdowns unless they take the ball and run themselves. Which I feel like it's got to be in the Brady era, right? It has to be. It is in the Brady era, yeah. So is it? And it's not. I w- and it's not Brady. It's not Brady. It's uh, just I was, was thinking over the course of twenty years or something. But is it Gronk? I think Gronk is. No, oh, he was in the Gronk. Patriots. Ra- is it? <laughs> is it Gronk? <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought he was another team. Uh, what's so, so now I'm wondering if it's just a running back or if it's Randy Moss or if it's uh, – It's definitely – Randy Moss was not on the Patriots that long. Yeah, he wasn't He wasn't on long enough. So the biggest touchdown leader, I don't know. No, scoring leader, not Scoring touchdown. leader. Oh, oh, I know who it is. It's a kicker, and it is uh, – it's uh, it's what's his name who's na- who, the, the, who was with us before. It's not Goskowski, but Vinatieri. It's Goskowski. It's Goskowski. Ah. <laughs> I can't believe you. that's crazy. That's that. a question because yeah. you think of Goskowski. You guys are speaking a foreign language to me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do a wrestling quiz next time. I don't know every detail. What everybody? No, you won't. I know everything. I wonder who wrestling. the touchdown leader is. That's a. I, I'm gonna. I, wonder I mean, it's, I'm, it's. Should ask the database. Wait, what's the question? Touchdown know. leader of the Patriots? Yeah, touchdown leader of the Patriots. They probably. Won't what's know. the touchdown leader of the Patriots? The you want a real hard Patriots one? Uh, a real hard Patriots one. The. All time rush leader for the Patriots. Rob Gronkowski There's has the no most way career. Know. Unless you know old, it's like Rob Gron- 60, 70. Rob Gronkowski has the most touchdowns in the oh, All right, so he yeah. did. All right, all right, that, all right. That's good. He also has like he has like close to the most receptions. He's like up there in all of them. He's Celtics the, he, ones are actually Red Sox. I might Caribbean? be do better with with I used to Red Sox used to be my favorite sport. I mean Red, Red Sox, Sox used to be my favorite team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two people in Red Sox that have almost all the records. It's, yeah, yeah. It's uh Yaz, Yaz and, and, um, and Ted Williams. Yeah, yeah Teddy yeah, Ballgame, yeah. Yeah. So it's like if you just get 50 50 guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tossing a gym Oh, Rice he's Nate, that's a Ted Williams tunnel. Oh, it's a baseball player. Yeah. I thought I thought that was a politician. Yeah, no, I love that. Definitely. That's the perfect way to. That's the perfect way to wrap it up. I thought that was a politician. Bye, everybody. Thank okay. you for watching. Thank you for coming you bet, to the volume podcast. I Thank never you knew like coming. You've been here farting with the boys on the volume podcast. Yeah. Right. Our first yeah, guest. Go. Check out Barbarous and check out that uh, uh, pinhead breakdown oh, yeah, video. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Thank you for the recommendation. Nice. Thank you for being our first guest thank and slash host. host. Yeah, thank this you for fun. having me. This is a blast. Oh, yeah, thanks, yeah, yeah thanks for doing the intro better than me. That's bullshit. That's yeah. No way. That's not possible. Uh, hell yeah. Oh, you're also, a pro. Uh, <laughs> tell them to support the Patreon, too. Oh, and please. 
Support the Patreon. Sign up. Mm -hmm. Instagram. These guys are and great. also, Instagram. whatever it is, I will say, watch the Doughboys or listen to the Doughboys Either podcast one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with Mike and Nick. And uh, check out Mike Mitchell in, what was the movie? Twisted with? Metal. I'm Twisted in. Metal. Yeah. Uh, Tomorrow War, I'm in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow War. Yeah. What was the big one you did with the military? You're a military character. That's Tomorrow War. Tomorrow yeah, War. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that was crazy. I, I just that. watched it. Big. Twisted Metal was good. Yeah, well, thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you would like it. It's fun. I'm going to watch it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to watch it. That's so. I just put the two together. Yeah, yeah. That you're in it. Yeah. Oh, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah, it was a blast. We got, we got big celebrities. It's not for everybody, here. but I like. It is a perfect kind no. of goofy, like weird kind of kind of cool. I, have, I don't know how to explain that to people. My thought was like, there's like so many like dark versions of like you know like you know like uh, not saying that this but last of us is like very dark and yeah, yeah, yeah 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 and tristan metal is like kind of fun and crazy it and still has that I, dark like the world is dark the world is dark and like fuck it's like those purge happens. movies yeah, in a way yeah. but maybe more fun yeah, yeah purge yeah. is like you don't take it but seriously, it's more video but... game like so you it's a little goofier so you yeah think. yeah it's, little, it's more lighthearted. yes which death, i like death race 5000 yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you ever seen that? You got what? Yeah, it kind of, it kind of like is like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should, you should check it out. It's I will, I will watch it. So we it. didn't do, we got to do redo the outro now. Just say three words. No, no, that's great. That's, that's it. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.